All right, previously we've shown you how to manage your contacts and make lists within your contacts of people that you want to email just by typing in one label. Um, that works only for you. You cannot share your contact labels, at least that I know of, and um, it doesn't allow you to create a label that's usable by everybody in the organization. Google does, however, have a tool called Google Groups, so if you're looking at a new page and you click on this Rubik's Cube, you'll see Groups as a tool here. This tool really is most useful for anybody who has to edit existing lists dash and lists. And I'm sorry about the air quotes, but um, when you go in there, if you click on look at my groups, you'll see all the groups that you have either created, that you're part of, or that you can manage. Okay. So if I want to manage a group and add people to it, say I'm uh, the person who's in charge of the List Kiwana Teachers group and I want to manage the members, I would simply click on that and what I'll see is the list of members here. Okay, I do apologize. We've had this conversation with a couple other people. Why does it show some of them as um, the first and last name and some of them as their eight-letter username? I haven't been able to figure out why that happens at this point. Um, and reorganizing them in reverse order doesn't seem to have any effect on it. But um, if you needed to manage this list, what you would do is you'd come over here to direct add members, and you would simply add the email address of the person that you wanted to add and select them. You can do this for multiple people, and then once you're done, you can click this add button and it would add them to the members list that you saw here. Okay. They should always be added as a member. Um, however, if you have somebody who you also want to be able to manage the same Shen list and you are owner or manager over here, you can check the box next to their name, come up here to actions and add to their role. You could make them a manager, which would allow them to add additional members to this um, list dash. Okay. So what you see when you come into groups first time is this. You can click on my groups and again you'll be able to see all of the groups that you are either part of or that you are able to manage. Generally underneath it you also see who's the manager of it if you are not and you can then contact that person to get somebody added or removed from the list. Okay, So that's how you manage existing ones. You do have the option of creating a new group from scratch. Creating a new group from scratch um, would be if you had a committee that, that was being used in the district and you wanted everybody to be able to email that committee by using one address, you could do that. We're kind of asking that you don't name um, lists that you create with list dash. Okay, that's a, a district um, convention. And so if a, the district's creating one, they're going to use that. But we ask that you don't. So let me do STA Finance Committee. Okay. You'll see as you type the name of the group down here, it builds an email address at Shen Schools for that group. It does put um, uh, minus symbols or hyphens in place of spaces. Um, you can also take out anything you want, whereas you want it part of the name on the top line, but you want to simplify the um, address, you would simply do that. Okay. Then as you scroll down, you get a couple choices down here that are important. The basic permissions. So who can see this group? You're going to say only members of the group. Okay. Who can view the messages that are posted into this group? Again, you're going to take off all organization members and only leave it to the owners, managers, and members of that group. And who can post to that group? Um, again, you're going to uncheck all organization members. Now, this is what you'd want to do 99% of the time. There are instances where you may leave those on. Okay. And then once you have all these done, you're going to click create group. Once the group's created, you manage it the same way I showed you before, where you directly add the members to it. You can invite members, but inviting members um, isn't always the best way to do it because they can choose to decline it. So sometimes you want to forcibly put people into a group so you know they get the communications to that group. Okay? Once a group's created and you're over here in Gmail, simply going into this address up here and typing one of any one of the existing lists or even the new one that you've just created, okay, will allow it to be used that way. Okay, so that's how you create and manage groups. Um, really, mostly important for anybody who's given the permissions 
to manage a list dash one, list dash Acadia teachers, list dash Aranjan staff, whatever it happens to be. Those people really have to be able to do it. You do it by using the Rubik's Cube and the Groups tool. All right, have fun.